Hello, welcome back. Or just welcome. I doubt anyone's like, I don't have any consistent viewers. <laughs> this is just for me to look back on. So I'm gonna chat about what I wish I knew before going to college and during my college experience because today I, it was just one of those days where I was like, what has college done for me? They sat put me in debt. Here's a little background information. I got my bachelor's in strategic communication with a focus in social media management. And I got my master's in strategic communication. Okay. I got those back to back. When I went into college, I was a pre-law major. So I was trying to become a lawyer, but at some point I realized that wasn't for me. I actually went to a high school for communication. So I'm very familiar with this field. Um, I don't come from a family with money. Like my parents did not help me pay for college. All student loans for the most part, very little scholarships, like very little. So that lets you know where I am right now. I still live with my parents, by the way, because I don't make enough money. But yes, that's my background. So currently I work in marketing. So I'm in the field I want to be in. My last job laid me off and I've been at this job for a little over a year. And I like the job. I just don't feel like I make enough money. And the world's really taken a turn the past few years. So I'm just trying to be patient and wait for things to like settle down. You know, it's expensive to live right now. But along with the topic, what I wish I knew. One, I wish I knew that having a degree did not guarantee a full-time job because it took me forever to get a full-time job. I got a full-time job maybe like two years after I got my bachelor's. I got my bachelor's in 2019 and I had just finished grad school when I got, well, not even just, it was months after I finished grad school. I got my first full-time job that laid me off because I, I didn't have experience. And so it was really hard to work my first job because I just didn't know much. I struggled to get internships throughout school. Another thing I wish I knew is I wish I just prepared like a portfolio of work. And I tried to in college, I really tried to prep myself as much as possible, but it was hard. No one was giving me chances. And you know, none of my friends really knew what we, we didn't know what we were doing. And I really thought that because I had a degree, people would hire me, but that was not the case. Another thing I wish I knew is that, is the reality of student loans. When I was in high school, everyone was just like, go to college, go to college, go to college. People do say apply to scholarships, but I was not smart in high school. Like my GPA was probably a 1.9 or 2.0, to be completely honest. And so there was no way I was getting a scholarship, you know? I got a few very small scholarships from the school. I feel like just because they're like, come here, give us your money. So just for them to be able to say, we gave you something. And so I wish more people were open and honest about how challenging it can be to pay back student loans. No one was telling me about this, you know? And it wasn't until I was in undergrad where I'm like, crap, this can really be a crutch, you know? Like this can really prevent me from flourishing financially. And also later in grad school, I realized that college is not that necessary, especially now. Like a lot of jobs are getting rid of their degree requirements because people aren't going to school. And you think about it, you know, for years, these jobs were basically like, okay, pay $150,000 for this degree. And we might give you a job that pays you a livable wage. 
but we could just call it entry level and pay you the bare minimum. So yeah, I just wish there was more transparency when I was coming up. Um, I also wish more people stopped me from going to grad school. That's another thing I wish I knew. Um, I think a lot of people encouraged it because going to grad school sounds great. You know, it's another degree. It makes you sound smart. It's something for your family to brag about, but it hasn't gotten me anywhere. Um, that I know of. I don't know if I got my current job because of grad school. I don't think I did, honestly. I really think my graphic design portfolio is what got me my current job. So, yeah, I wish I had more people were just like, maybe wait it out, you know, because I'm in debt. So, you know, and I just wish I could have, would have been like, all right, if you want me to go to grad school, pay for it. Pay for my degree. You know, I have family that wants me to get a PhD. And I'm like, if you're not paying for it, please stop bringing it up. I still live with my parents. I'm 27. I don't want to be in more debt. <laughs> so, currently, here's where I am. I am working on getting my data analytics certificate. I have a video about that because that's a field where I feel like I would make more money. And I'm also looking to move out, out of state. So I wanna be as prepared for that as possible. And I wanna be as competitive when it's time for me to start applying for jobs. My portfolio will be amazing. I'll have this new skill. And hopefully jobs are like, okay, we'll hire you. And I really want to make good money. I really do. And it's not even for the sake of like, you know, spending recklessly and getting like cars and clothes. Like, I mean, I do like clothes, but I want to live life comfortably. And I don't think that's too much to ask for. My job just here was raises and I saw my check and I'm like, Whew, I'm thankful, but it did not do much. It did not do much when you look at it every month. And so, I'm like, these jobs are just ridiculous. And I wish more people, like adults were open about the reality of working in an office and how challenging that can be. They just took away our work from home privilege. So we were able to work from home two days a week. They took that away. The office is like a madhouse. It really is. It's loud. It just, yeah. So, <laughs> I have a lot of reasons why I'm ready to like move on to the next thing. But I haven't been in my job two years, and I want to say I've been there two years before I start looking for other things. So, yeah, that's what I wish I knew before I went to college. I will make a video about my college experience overall, undergrad and grad school because I think that may help people. And maybe I'll make a video on like what to consider before you go to school. Cause there's a lot to think about. So yeah, thank you to anyone who watched this all the way through. I'm really working on being consistent and I'm gonna improve the quality of these videos. And I hope that I can help people and inspire people to, you know, just, Put in the work and work hard for the life you feel like you're meant to live. So yeah, peace out.